moving some wheat around. Yes, sir. So as uh, we just finished up the glazing and we're putting away some grains in the box here. But I wanted to give you an update on the greenhouse. The doors are in, albeit without the hardware. I just got done finishing uh, wrapping this up with some of that galvanized steel here for weatherproofing. I think that looks pretty nice and tight. Bomber, anyway. And there's the, uh, the glazed front bulletproof cheek wall completely flashed. There you have it. The doors are in. They're nice. They're, uh, the cheapest steel doors with a full window I could find were $499. But then I searched a little harder and we managed to find these babies for $250. And that's a steel exterior double paned perfect greenhouse door. And the glazing is all in. French door needs a couple door pins. And we'll be able to put these doors on. And we are almost ready to build some keyhole beds. Um, we're using unfaced fiberglass for the walls because they're going to be directly inside of growing beds. And if there's any moisture, we don't well, we won't have to deal. We were going to get denim because they make a non-toxic denim. It's really easy to handle, but... We're going to go with uh, the fiberglass here in this lower wall. Now for the ceiling, uh, we decided to go with this PolyPro EPS foam board. It's only 18 bucks a sheet here. It gives you about, it gives you R7 for every inch. And we got these two inches. So it's an R14 roof, and it'll be an R30 cheek wall, because we want to prevent any cold coming from outside into our flower beds. Uh, another thing we did that will prevent these beds from getting cold is the earth tubes run underneath of the whole, this whole outside section of the greenhouse at a depth of about three or four feet. So that's going to keep the ground under the growing beds warm by pumping in this 54 degree heat in our earth tubes. Now, earth tubes are a closed loop system. So in the back corners of the rooms, there's gonna be chimneys that go all the way up here and all the hot air will fall down into those chimneys, go out 300 feet into the property, back around, and then up into these intakes where if you put a fan on there, you'll be able to pump 54 degree air into your greenhouse as air conditioning in the day and heating it at night. So that's how the earth tube system works. It's a closed loop. It goes out there by the horse trailer and back in. We've also got a thousand gallon cistern here that's gonna be feeding the water supply in there so that we can grow amazing amounts of food. The whole top edge is flashed all the way across for extra waterproofing. I had to do some fancy flashing to match the windows with the roof. But ask any roofer how to do that. And it's just a, a lap where you can see that the one flashing under the, the window goes underneath of the next flashing under the roof. And here's another one of those finished corners, which I think looks really nice and tight. There it is. We're on our way. to be growing food any day now in here. It'll probably take about another week to finish up the interior and start making those raised beds. So follow us along as we put the end walls in. Now that's a different type of polycarbonate we will reveal to you tomorrow. And just and we'll show you how we're gonna be doing that. So thanks for watching. Share this with like-minded people. Hit that subscribe button. And I gotta help the guys with the grains. Be safe. That's boom.